I often get asked by new boat owners what these silver things are on the foot of their motor or on their transom mounts. And actually, they serve a very useful purpose. Sacrificial zinc anodes, as they're called, help to stem the tide of metal corrosion on your boat. Now, anytime you have dissimilar metals in contact with each other or have them connected by a conductor, a wire, and then have them immersed in an electrolyte like fresh or salt water, you have the potential for galvanic corrosion. Now, seawater and warm temperatures speed up the process, so boats in warmer climates are even more susceptible to this unavoidable chemical reaction. Now, stainless steel and aluminum and alloys with magnesium and zinc are highly active metals and therefore quicker to erode than bronze or copper. And a very smart person figured out years ago that by placing a more active metal in contact with a less active metal, well, they'll form a galvanic bond and the more highly active of the two will dissolve away, leaving the other unharmed. Now, zinc is more active than stainless, for instance. So by attaching a piece of zinc to your stainless steel trim tabs, the zinc will suffer the consequences of the galvanic corrosion and leave your expensive trim tabs alone. Now, these pieces of zinc that you see on propeller shafts, on motor mounts, and other places on a boat hull or engine are called sacrificial zincs, and they do a great job of keeping galvanic corrosion from eating up the major metal components of your boat and motor. Okay, enough chemistry. The thing you need to know is where are your zincs and when do you need to replace them? Now, most outboard power boats will have a zinc anode attached to the transom mount and perhaps one or two located near the foot of the motor. As galvanic corrosion takes place, the zincs will dissolve away. And when they're about halfway gone, it's a good time to replace them. They're relatively inexpensive and they're pretty easy to replace. Now, be sure you get a good metal-to-metal -metal connection when replacing the zinc. A good scrubbing where it'll mount will ensure a solid connection.